Hey everybody, welcome back to another Judgment Commentary, but today, we're finally going to be checking out Maiden Abyss Season 2, otherwise known as Maiden Abyss The Golden City of the Scorching Sun. A little wordy, but otherwise still a very epic title. Either way, after like a year and a half of waiting after Dawn of the Deep Soul, Season 2 has finally dropped with Episode 1 coming out today at the time of recording, so the hype is officially extremely real. Yeah, after those first few trailers that they released for Season 2, it got me pretty excited about it, you know, especially that second trailer I saw. It was really good, it set the stage very nicely. Sadly, I didn't get to see the, the third trailer that they released right before this dropped. I uh, didn't have time in my schedule to make a video of it, but at least that second one I saw was real good. And the first one wasn't bad either, it was mostly just setting up stuff that's probably going to be more important later on in the season, but... All in all, the trailers did their job, and have got me hyped. But yeah, it's good to be back with more Made in the Abyss because... That first season and the movie... Blew me away, man. They were just amazingly good, just all throughout, especially the movie. The movie was one of the finest anime films I've ever seen, just... Heartbreaking. That's the only word I can use, I guess, for the movie. It was heartbreaking. Insanely good, but heartbreaking. And from what I've been told, it doesn't slow its roll from here on out, you know? Like, it just keeps that train moving. Yeah, like, once we got to episode 9 and 10 of season 1, it hasn't really slowed down. And from what people have said, that ain't gonna change anytime soon. Don't know for sure, though. That's just what the comments were like when those videos were originally coming out. But in preparation for season 2, I have actually been re-watching all of season 1, to make sure I'm caught up, I've been re-watching them as I've been re-uploading the reactions to YouTube, so... Technically, there were a few that I've yet to re-watch beforehand, you know, like, uh... It's up to about episode 11 at the time of recording, so I've seen all of those, but... To make sure I'm refreshed, I did watch quite a few recap videos of season 1 as well as of the movie, just to make sure my memory is refreshed. Of course, it has only been like a year since I originally saw it in the first place, so it's not like it was like five or six years ago like some other old things that I've seen. But I just had to take all the necessary precautions. I do not want another repeat of what happened with that Fate Stay Night movie where I just had no frickin' idea what was going on because I hadn't seen it in a while. I mean, the latter few episodes of season one and the movie are what kind of stuck with me the most. You know, I remember those clear as day because of how impactful they were, so... I think I'm fine. Now, since this episode did just drop today, the amount of variety of subtitle options is limited, but one of y'all on my Discord server was kind enough to give me this link to these ones that you thought might be the most accurate for the time being, and I believe these are sourced from the official Crunchyroll subs, just uh, modified and retimed slightly with, uh, I believe, even some translations of the opening and ending themes. So these subs should be sufficient for the time being, but for now, let's not waste any more time. We can hop right back in for season two. What do you say? Let's go, baby. So I do recall somebody saying after the first trailer that uh, they thought it was strange that they featured, you know, those characters in it because they thought they wouldn't be uh, really shown until later in season two, but Nope, they were shown right out of the gate, so I guess uh, the first trailer was a lot more apt than some of us were led to believe. And of course, in uh, Made in Abyss style, they have to- they just have to show horrible things happening to the young, you know? That's just- <laughs> that's just the way of things here. And right out of the gate, just that, just, oh, the person who took me and I didn't have any relatives to turn to was just a total depraved scumbag. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, screw that guy. She said he was gone. Now, I don't know if that means he's dead, or if uh, she's just away from him, but uh, I hope he's dead. <laughs> he can rot in hell, man. Looks like he was even just scorching her just for the lulls, man. I mean, that's just not... That's just... Why? But now she's found herself with a new merry gang of individuals who, uh, from what they said, like, they, they were all, you know, cast out astray from their homes, and, uh, They've all just taken it upon themselves to head down into the abyss and find the Golden City. A lot of their designs are very recognizable. I hadn't seen them since uh, the first trailer, 
but I still recognized them right away. Especially our one friend with the Zuko-esque scar he's got going on. Yeah, Beloth was the name of our facial scarred friend with the pretty eyes. He seems to have a good head on his shoulders, you know? He knows that the eyes are the window to the soul and true beauty lies within the soul. That a thing isn't beautiful or ugly for how it appears, it is how it is on the inside. But in the case of that one dude, uh, he was ugly in both ways. At least Bondruid actually cared about the kids he, you know, cut up and used for experimentation. This guy... He just sucks. And then we get to the part with this one girl who was friggin' exiled and branded because she... can't... have children. Well, that's not very fair. And you gotta permanently mark her for it, too. I mean, my gosh. Yeah, looking back to what they were saying, they said that they were the Ganja. That's why they mentioned the... The three sages of uh, Ganja, I believe is what they said. That they were just the squad that was uh, sent out to try to find the Golden City. And they believe in a nameless god, I believe is what she said. And with all of them being forsaken by their homelands and just people in general, uh, their guide uh, seems to fit right in with that, sadly. I guess not necessarily sadly, now she's going to be with people who will actually, you know, treat her well. But they did go to the Golden City, where Rico and the rest of the gang just arrived, so I'm sure we'll get to see more about what happened to them there going forward. But yeah, great episode. It continued things perfectly from where we left off, and it's introducing us to this whole new cast of characters that, uh, starting to get attached to pretty fast. I can't wait to see what the next episode has in store, but for now, I think that's going to be it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be updated on more. That would be great. I'll be checking out episode two right when that one drops as well. Maybe not necessarily on Wednesday. Maybe it'll uh, end up being pushed to like uh, Saturday or Sunday, perhaps. Maybe, you never know. Like this is a, a special case where I'm able to check it out on Wednesday, but you never know. Maybe I'll still be able to. But for all y'all checking this out on YouTube and maybe you're not aware of this yet, if you want to check out my reactions to Made in the Abyss and anything else a week in advance before everybody else, you can feel free to check out my Patreon, linked in the description. Become a part of any tier, and you get access to all of my reactions a full week in advance, if you wish. See so ya, yeah, like I already said, it's good to be back with more Made in Abyss, and I'll be waiting for episode 2 with bated breath. But till we meet again, I will see you guys all later!